timers. Uh, storyteller? Yes. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm on flag duty. Okay. All right, Green Bear. Go ahead. My fellow Kid Time Story Timers, as you know, I am running a campaign to be America's first green president. First green president. <laughs> Makes me so proud. Anyway, I don't know who this grace person is who's going to Washington, but if she's going to go to help me run the country, then that's okay by me, as long as she's not president, because that's my job. Okay. Green Bear for president. Now let's see what this Grace girl is doing when she goes to Washington. Ooh, what have we here? Our country's system of checks and balances. That means every part of the government balances out the other part. The legislative part with Congress, Senate, House of Representatives, then we executive, this is where the president is, and then the judicial is the Supreme Court, and it gives us the whole back and forth of how they work together and they need one another. No one branch can dominate. That way everyone works together. So let's go inside. Ba, 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 One Friday afternoon in April, Mrs. Barrington, hey, Mrs. Barrington, shared a large diagram of the three branches of the U.S. government. But Grace Campbell, our girl right there, could not stop daydreaming about the upcoming field trip to Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, and an amazing place to visit. Grace, do you know who's in charge here? Mrs. Barrington asked. Who's in charge here? Grace repeated. Principal Perez? A few of her classmates <laughs> giggled. Well, said Mrs. Barrington, I suppose you could say Principal Perez is like the executive branch here at Wilson Elementary because she's the head of our school. But right now, we're talking about the U.S. government. Oh, oh, sorry. The president, he or she leads the executive branch. That's correct, Miss Barrington replied, the president. So the president is like the executive branch. The last bell of the day rang. Ring. We'll discuss this more next week, she announced. Student council members, Grace and Sam, don't forget you have a meeting after school. Hey, Sam. At the meeting, classroom representatives were discussing their ideas on how to spend the money raised from their holiday bake sale because part of government is running the financials. So here they are, the cookies and much money, and they sold cakes and muffins and cupcakes, it looks here. And here we've got a presentation. This kid is a healthy mind, is a healthy body. Well, oh, nice drawings. Looks like they're arguing though. Yeah, it can get a little testy sometimes when you're talking about money. Thomas and his committee petitioned for new sports equipment. Ah, that's why a healthy body, a healthy mind is a healthy body presentation. Grace and her committee thought new books for the library was the way to go. Hmm, I think you know which one I would vote for. Principal Perez even offered her own suggestion. The music room sure could use some new instruments. Oh, I like that option too, admittedly. Mr. Marshall, the media center teacher, listened carefully to all of their arguments and took notes. They're all good ideas, Grace later admitted to Sam. There's no way we'll agree before the vote next week. You know what I was thinking during the meeting, Sam asked. No, what? If Principal Perez is like the executive branch, I think the student council is kind of like the legislative branch because we're the elected leaders from each class and we help make the decisions for the school. Grace considered Sam's comparison. Yeah. Who knew so many people had a say in how to spend cookie money, she grumbled. Mm, it's like real life politics right there. The following day, Grace could hardly contain her excitement. It was finally field trip day. Everybody loves field trip day. As the bus drove down Pennsylvania Avenue, cherry blossoms dotted the streets like pink pom-poms. That's right, cherry blossoms bloom in April in Washington, D.C. So beautiful. Storyteller saw it herself. Ah, beautiful. Grace and her classmates visited the Lincoln Memorial. Very inspiring. The U.S. Capitol where the legislative branch meets. See, there's a teacher showing them. 
and the Supreme Court building. That's where you'll find the judicial branch and Supreme Court judges, Sam pointed out. They decide if our rules and laws are fair. Huh, kind of like Mr. Marshall does at our student council meetings, Grace added. Now, during a tour of the White House, home of the executive branch, Grace, Dr Grace's dream of becoming president felt more real. Wait, 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 wait just a minute. Oh. You know this was gonna happen, didn't you? Wait a minute, she wants to be president? This is unacceptable! I told you, I'm gonna be president, and I've been working really hard, and, and, listen, listen, Green Bear. Wait, 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 wait. You're working yourself up a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Listen to me. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Breathe with me. <laughs> More than one person gets to be president. Remember, you only get two terms. <laughs> so, <laughs> So, so she can be president, but after me, after me. Okay, after you. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Shall we continue? So, Grace's dream of becoming president felt more real when she went to the White House. Their final stop of the day was a Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. It's stunning, look at that. His image carved out of stone. Grace studied the words engraved on the monument and thought about their meaning. All throughout this area here surrounding him are carvings of some of his great sayings. Really inspiring place. Make a career of humanity. Commit yourself to the noble struggle for equal rights. You will make a greater person of yourself, a greater nation of your country, and a finer world to live in. At recess the next day, arguments about what to purchase for the school grew more heated. Oh, we're back to that again. <sighs> Look at this crummy basketball, Clara complained. It's practically worthless. At least you have a ball, Fletcher groaned. There are two new books in the Ninja Wizard series, but our library doesn't have either one. <gasps> that sounds awful. Hannah lobbied the loudest for new instruments. Well, I for one am sick and tired of playing the recorder in music class. Principal Perez is right. Oh, everybody has an interest. Grace glanced at Thomas, who was unusually quiet. Hmm. She looked past him to see who he was staring at. Okay, so here's Thomas and here. Oh, Grace didn't recognize the boy sitting all alone. Hmm. He must be new, she thought. He looked kind of sad. Just then, ring, the bell rang, and the students scattered. Wait, Grace called out to the boy. You forgot something. Grace handed him a sketchbook. I like your drawing, she said. Thanks, said the boy with a smile. Grace caught up to Thomas in the hallway. I have an idea. Hmm. A few days later, the student council's last meeting of the year was being called to order, order, order. Excuse me. Grace interrupted, before we vote, because the Bake Sale Prophet's vote is today, Thomas and I would like to introduce you to someone. This is Aman. He's new to our school. We'd like all of you to consider one more option for how to spend the Bake Sale money. Together, they rolled out a big poster. We're calling it the Friendship Mall, Thomas said proudly. Aman helped us design it. It's a place where you can go at recess to let other students know when you need a friend, Amon explained. Oh, so here's the friendship mosaic that we can make that ourselves. Oh, so it's like a project. Benches to sit, talk, and play. Flowers to make you happy. Grass. And, and then so this is lo give, love, share. Next, Thomas spoke about their field trip to Washington, D.C. And Grace read a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. A finer, kinder world starts with us and the choices we make. She concluded, thank you for listening. Everyone <laughs> clapped. Principal Perez <laughs> wiped away a few tears and Mr. Marshall <laughs> pounded his gavel. It's time to vote. After the ballots were collected from each classroom representative doo -doo 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 -doo, and the votes were tallied, Student Council President Grace Campbell peeked at the results and grinned. It's a unanimous decision, she announced excitedly. 
All members are in favor of the Friendship Mall. <sighs> the room filled with happy cheers. Principal Perez took a seat and then much like the president signs a bill into law, she approved the election results, making the decision official. Today, you put your own wants and needs aside in order to serve others, she said, beaming. That is true leadership. And this time, everyone agreed. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. This one says share. This one says give. I know this one says love. I can't read that one. But look, the friends mosaic that they created together. The ribbon cutting ceremony with Aman, the designer, right at the front with the big scissors. So there's Principal Perez. All the kids. Signs of love. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. That's true. Be the change. United we stand. And a heart and the earth of love. Oh, and then the author gave us a big long note that helps us understand more about the government, the executive branch, the leg legislative branch, the judicial branch. Now it says here, you might be wondering why we need three separate branches of government instead of one big branch. The constitution created a system of checks and balances to prevent one branch from having too much power. And we call this the separation of powers. You're gonna hear this a lot in government, but it's good for you to already know what this idea is. It's a very important feature in the way our democratic government operates because it keeps the system fair and just and protects the rights of people. And that is what happens when you go to Washington like Grace does. You get all sorts of inspiring ideas. Yeah, I'm totally inspired. Uh, Georgia. Okay, I know what I must do. Okay, I'm on it. Thank you. So, as you all know, you're going to get inspired when you go to Washington, D.C. I know that I took a trip once and I was inspired to run for president and become the first green president of the United States of America. Also the first bear president, if you think about it. I didn't think about that. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of responsibility on my shoulders, but I'm ready to do it. I have already chosen several vice presidents and people to help me. And with your support, we can make this America an incredible country. Oh, wait a minute. It's pretty incredible already. But anyway, we can make this country. Uh, what can I do? You can make it greener. Yeah, yeah, you can make country greener. And, and like I said, I, I always promise everybody that if you vote for me, uh, you're gonna get chocolate because I'm all about chocolate. So remember, Green Bear for President. Thank you, thank you very much, and God bless America.